What is going on guys? Grave here today. I'd like to talk about the Modern Warfare 2 campaign. I'm going to try to avoid spoiling anything, but I want you all to know in case you have not played, you don't want to you know, have anything given away. You might not want to watch this till after you have played the campaign. But when it comes to the game in general, it kind of picks up a few years after uh, Modern Warfare 2019 story. Uh, the game feels a bit more difficult. I'm sure if you have played it, you have realized even playing it on just the normal mode is a bit more difficult than most of the Modern Warfare campaigns or any Call of Duty campaign for that matter has been in a really long time. And if you play on some harder difficulty modes, it is a very challenging thing. Also, there's a lot of returning characters. So if you're a fan of a lot of the Modern Warfare uh, story campaigns, a lot of the entries over the last several years, there's a lot of returning characters. You have your characters like Ghost, Gas, Soap, and Price, but there's also some really great new characters that have been added in as well, like Vargas and Valeria. Uh, Valeria, personally, is probably one of the best characters that has been in a Call of Duty game in a really long time. I'm not going to spoil anything about exactly who they are or anything like that, but once you play the game, you'll see what I'm saying. Probably one of the better characters, and also Vargas is really good as well. So I thought they did a great job with bringing back some of those older characters uh, that we have seen for a long time, kind of those nostalgia characters was kind of what I would call it, but also adding some really great new characters as well. It has some great uh, cutscenes. The cutscenes and the graphics are just absolutely phenomenal for a Call of Duty game. It looks like you're playing you know, just a single player kind of military style game. It's not like what we have seen over the years with Call of Duty. Now, Call of Duty has had some great cutscenes and, and some great graphics in the past, but this year they have definitely stepped it up and it is absolutely top notch. The missions are very memorable and that's one thing that has been lacking over the last several years in my opinion. That's why I kind of consider this, just for me personally, one of the better campaigns in a really, really long time. Because when you have memorable characters and very memorable missions, that's what makes a Call of Duty campaign great. Because we all know there's not going to be a really long game. We know it's not going to take you more than, you know, eight or ten hours at the most to beat it. And when you're playing something that is that kind of short uh, time-wise, to me, great characters and great visuals and great storytelling and really memorable missions make it a very memorable experience and all of these missions are also extremely action-packed they're either a little bit more you know kind of that crazy uh what we would come to expect from a uh, call of duty where it'll be a lot of explosions and insane things like you would see maybe in a hollywood movie or even some that are more stealthy so that's what makes these missions very memorable to me because they're very action-packed but they're also kind of uh, different in a lot of ways because you might go from one mission that's really action-packed and you're in vehicles and you're blowing up stuff and you know, all that kind of great uh, stuff we come to expect from Call of Duty but also you may have a mission where you're sniping or you may have to be a little bit more sneaky so I thought it was a very good balance of different styles of missions and kind of going along with that it gives you a few more open world options now it's not an open world game by any means but we do have some of those open world options when it comes to you know, the conversations you have with different characters, you have several different options you can choose to kind of answer the question. So it gives you a bit more of a kind of open world feel when it comes to it's not just a set narrative. The things that that I really enjoyed about it, I, there are just so many overall uh, things that I enjoyed about this campaign. But the one thing that I can say is it's definitely a very memorable campaign and it's definitely a campaign to me to when I finished it, I was like, man, I hope since this game is going to be out for two years, maybe, you know, in year two, they will add some more to this story. I'm not going to ruin anything, but all I have to say is if you're still here watching this video, make sure when the cutscenes start that you don't exit the game. Just continue to watch the cutscenes because there's something very cool that happens, you know, a little bit into the cutscenes. So make sure you check that out. And that's another reason I'm kind of hoping. We don't have to wait until Infinity Ward makes their next game before we get another installment of maybe some parts to go along with the story because I thought they did an absolutely incredible job uh, with it and the way they did the storytelling the way they had like I said kind of split up the missions the way you get to even kind of know the characters more than you have in any other Call of Duty game in the past it's really really done well in my opinion I think Infinity War did a wonderful job with the campaign for Modern Warfare 2 and I would recommend, even if you're not a campaign person, if you're not a person that likes to play campaigns in Call of Duty, I would recommend trying this one out. I would highly recommend trying this one out. 
because I think you will enjoy it. Anyway, guys, leave me a comment with your thoughts. And of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. And I'll catch you next time. Peace.